students in the previous lesson we have learned about climate and weather now we will understand the importance of water in our day-to-day -day life as we begin this class today let us learn about the Indian rivers and water sources in our country the drainage in India is broadly divided into three physiographic units which are one the Himalayas two the peninsular plateau three the Indo-Gangetic Plains. On the basis of the origin, the drainage system can be divided into Himalayan rivers and peninsular rivers. Let us take a look at the Himalayan rivers and the peninsular rivers in the first section. The Himalayan rivers belong to three principal types, which are the Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. The Himalayan rivers are perennial in nature, which means they never dry up. The rainfall and the melting snow results in the perennial nature of the rivers. The Indus system finds its origins in the northern slopes of the Kailash range near Lake Mansarovar in Tibet. Following a northwesterly course through Tibet, the Indus touches India in Jammu and Kashmir. The Indus covers Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab and Himachal Pradesh in our country. Chenab, Ravi, Bias and Satlej are the main tributaries of Indus. Students, now let us have a look at the Ganga system. The main stream of the Ganga is formed by two head streams, which are the Alaknanda and Bhagirathi that unite at Devprayag. The Gangotri glacier, where it is known as Bhagirathi, is the main source of the Ganga system. The second source is the Satapnath glacier, which is towards the northwest of Badrinath, where it is known as Alaknanda. These two join at a point which is known as Devprayag forming Ganga that emerged from the Haridwar hills. Many tributaries with origins from Himalayas and the peninsular plateau join the river Ganga. Students, can you now guess what are the states that river Ganga flows through? <music> Students, river Brahmaputra is one of the prominent rivers in the country. Now, let us have a look at the journey of the river Brahmaputra all the way from Tibet to India. River Brahmaputra, also known as Sangpo, rises in Shemayungdung Glacier, southwest of Mansarovar Lake. The Brahmaputra flows in the eastward direction through southern Tibet. At Lhotse Zong area, river Brahmaputra opens out into a wide, navigable channel for nearly 640 kilometers. From there, the river flows with rapid currents. It then enters in a great loop southwest through Arunachal Pradesh in India as Siang first and then as Dihang. Brahmaputra then emerges into the Assam Valley where it is joined by the tributaries the Dibang and the Lohit. It is from here that the river is known as Brahmaputra. 